In this video, I'm going to show you how to locally install and run Face Fusion, which is a next generation AI fa face swapper and face enhancer. So let's get right into it. You can install it on any Linux or Windows instance, but I'll be using the Google Colab for this demo. Let, let me go to my Google Colab. So here I am. The first thing which we need to do is to clone the GitHub repo of this Face Fusion and in order to get the URL of this GitHub repo, just go to this repo and I'll drop the link in video description, scroll up, click here on green button and click the copy here. And then all you need to do is to clone this GitHub repo. Let me go back to my Google Colab. Before I clone it, let's do one thing. Click here on um, runtime and then we need to change the runtime to GPU. So click on change runtime, click T4 GPU and click on save. So that's done. Cool. Now this is how we are going to first clone the repo and then we are going to install few of the prerequisites which are in the requirement.txt. So I already have few sections open so let me disconnect them. So let me first disconnect it. And terminate other sessions cool now let me run it again okay, let's wait for it to finish it is downloading all the requirements and installing them as you can see in this google colab i'm waiting for it to finish it takes around i have seen two to three minutes because I'm using a single GPU on this free tier of Google Colab. So maybe if you are using a heavy duty GPU, it might be a bit faster. Anyway, still quite decent. Installation is done. Now let's run it. In order to run it, I'll be using this remote mo. Remote Mo is a software daemon which you can use to expose ad hoc services to the internet without really worrying about VPN or chaining for firewalls because primarily it is just an SSH and we just forward the port in it. So uh, that's what I'm going to use in this one. And I have another video on Remote Mo and I'll also drop the link in video description. Anyway, so all I'm doing here is I'm just running this Python run.py with this. Um, uh, remote mode so that we would be able to access the URL. So let's run it. It doesn't take too long and it will also expose this URL which we will be going to access. But let's first uh, wait for it to finish to download everything and also run it here on the local host. So as you can see, it is running here. Now we can access this URL which will give us a temporary entry into the software so i have clicked on it and it should open this face fusion in another link so let's wait for it to load and remember it's a it's not a secure link because it's, it is just a temporary link into it so as you can see it has loaded now uh, let me um, first do a few things first let me get the source image which i'm going to use in this and I'm going to just let me use my own image. So this is a source image I'm using. Let me also get a target image, which I will be trying to swap or enhance it with. So I have downloaded uh, a target. I have taken my another image. Now, as you know, prompt engineering is to give this more context. So let me maybe give it the age around adult and then face gender male so that it would help in making better decision and if you go up on the left hand side you can see that we have face swapper and i will play around with enhancer later on just let's leave everything uh, on the side for now and scroll down a little and click on start it is working here and this is the preview it has given me so it has Fused, uh, fused these two images and produced this one. And if you go back to your collab, you will see that some of the stuff it has done here um, in the background. Go back to the face fusion. In this one, let's also click on frame enhancer. 
and let's see what it produces after enhancing the frame. And sometime it gives out an error while running it because of the single GPU. So if that happens to you, just reload the web page and you should be good. So it has, you can see that it has enhanced the frame, added more sort of filters there. Let's also click on face enhancers to see what happens. Take few seconds to complete. But even on a free GPU, you can see the speed is quite good. So just imagine running it on a, a beefy system. So there you go, a uh, lot better. You can see all the granules of the images. The image quality is quite nice. So this is it. Um, I hope that you liked it. I will drop all the commands which I have used in this video. And I will also uh, drop the link to the GitHub repo so that you can read along. If you have any questions or uh, feedback, please put it in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.